message today. I'm Rob Smith. And I'm Natalie Graham. Tonight's top stories. Slay the Halloween monster, the Sussex Bishop, who says children should dress up as saints instead of sinners. Kids are dressing up, um, probably scaring one another sometimes, uh, for no purpose. A criminal investigation, the latest on the efforts to stop sewage spreading from a contaminated lake. Also in tonight's programme, athletic and bronzed, we meet Martin Brockman, the Kent decathlete who gave the performance of his life at the Commonwealth. Preparing for the heavyweight championship of the world, the referee from Raynham, who's stepping up to the mark. And Sweet Dreams, the man who eats chocolate for a living. Good evening. A Sussex bishop has appealed for children to stop dressing up as ghouls and witches on Halloween. The Right Reverend Kieran Connery, Bishop of Brighton and Arundel, says it's time to slay the Halloween monster, which he says has turned the festival into a commercial nightmare. Well, the Catholic bishop wants an end to the recent tradition of carving pumpkins and says that children should dress up as saints instead of monsters as part of an effort to try and reclaim Halloween as a Christian celebration of light. Chrissy Reedy reports. It's an excuse for children to carve pumpkins, put on their scariest mask and go trick-or-treating. But now a Catholic bishop in Sussex insists it's time to slay the Halloween monster. He wants youngsters to dress up as saints like St Wilfred. St Wilfred was a bishop who was said to have stopped a drought. Or perhaps St Cuthman, a shepherd who cared for his mother. Both saints lived in Sussex. Bishop Kieran Conroy wants to see children carving happy faces into pumpkins and reclaim the pagan festival as a Christian celebration of light. I mean, I'm not um, saying it's the work of the devil, but, um, you know, I think we could do something different with it and uh, spare the, the expense uh, of the parents. Do you think the celebration of Halloween is evil? No, I don't think it's evil. I think it's, uh, for the most part, it's fairly innocuous. But um, I just think it's... it's there's just nothing to it. There's no meaning to it whatsoever. Um, and so the kids are dressing up, um, probably scaring one another sometimes, uh, for no purpose. The celebration of Halloween is a multi-million pound business. It's overtaken Easter to become the second best trading period of the year after Christmas. So does the bishop have a point? It's fun if you want it to be for your kids and... and and nothing more than that, really. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. My son, whenever he goes to Asda or when he sees all these things, he gets scared. You know, I'm, I'm a Christian, but I, I certainly have no problems with it at all. It's not, you know, it's, I don't take it seriously. It's just fun. Some feel the bishop is out of touch and unrealistic. I mean, I wouldn't dream of turning around and saying Christmas Day should be full of trees with black tinsel or anything like that. Halloween is just one day of the year where people want to scare each other, have fun, watch a few horror films, and if the vicar can't cope with that, or the priest, or the bishop, or anybody in the religion, then just go to bed for the day. And the idea that somehow this is bad for children and they need to you know, be re-educated and adopt a different uh, sort of practice doesn't make any sense at all. There's no way that's going to happen. Halloween is still a few weeks away. For the bishop's comments to hit home, something tells me he's a huge mountain to climb. This is an opportunity uh, to spread the gospel in a slightly different way. You know, shift the focus away from the ghouls and the dead and the spirits, shift it back to where it originally was at this time. It's just an opportunity um, to turn something into something else. Chrissy Reedy reporting there, and she joins us now from Crawley. Chrissy, has there been any sort of reaction to what the bishop has had to say today? Reaction today from people in and around uh, Kent and Sussex has been quite varied, people going on both sides. I think the big issue for the bishop is that uh, what he says were once the positive connotations associated with the celebrations of Halloween, he feels are now gone. They are completely diminished. He's, he's not for one minute thinking that next week children are going to go out and start dressing up as uh, St uh, Wilfred, as I said there, but he does feel that children should reconnect with people who in the past perhaps have made an impact, like saints, and uh, sort of refocus with a sense of uh, reality. I think either way, if this idea is going to catch on, one thing is for sure, I think he's got his work cut out. OK, Chrissy, thank you. Well, we'd like to know what you think. Is Halloween over-commercialised? Should children be dressing as saints rather than ghosts and ghouls? Or is it just harmless fun? Let us know what you think by emailing us, southeasttoday at bbc.co.uk, and hopefully we'll be able to read out some of your comments by the end of the programme.